Hello, everybody. Happy Friday afternoon. I know yours is going well if you're a Seahawks fan because we took care of business last night. I'm doing good today as well because the channel just hit 1,870 subscribers. I want to give a shout out to all the subscribers, old and new. And special tip of the cap goes to the now 21 channel members, including new member Brent McKinney. As of last night, he joined the channel and elite channel member Y2KHA. All right. So what are we going to be doing today? We are going to be bringing back a somewhat popular series that I got a lot of requ requests in the last couple weeks to continue. We're going to take a look at the upcoming slate of games for week 11 of the NFL season and figure out who we as Seahawks fans should be rooting for, if anybody. I was going to retire this series after the trade deadline because the games, most of the games simply didn't matter that much to the Seahawks. It became much more obvious and binary who the Seahawks should be rooting for in each game. But people kept asking me to keep making this video, so I decided, you know what, I'm going to keep making the video. So with that in mind, let's go forward. A lot of these games are going to mean absolutely nothing to the Seahawks, and I will mention that as we go through, but um, yeah. And first, before I get into Sunday's and Monday's games, it's really nice to have won that game last night and have this stuff really mean something. If we had lost last night, we would be watching this kind of stuff knowing that we needed things to go our way just so we could hold on for dear life, but... Now we don't really have to worry about that. Now it's just more like a bonus on top of the fact that we took care of business last night against Arizona. So, who are the Seahawks? Who are the Seahawks fans rooting for in Sunday's action? We're going to get started with Eagles at Browns at the top of the list. We're going to go through this early slate first, Eagles at Browns, and this this is kind of interesting. So, <clears throat> follow me through this thought process here. I think we're actually rooting for the Eagles in this game for a couple reasons. One, we play the Eagles next. We play the Eagles next week. So this is their last game before they play us. And while I have a lot of confidence that we're going to beat this Eagles team no matter what, to me, the less desperate this Eagles team is to get a win, the better. And Maybe that sounds soft to some people. I know there are people out there who would say you want to beat a team at their best. You want to beat a team when they're playing the best possible football they can. But I'm not really thinking like that right now. I'm thinking I need to get whatever advantage that I can get. And if the Eagles win against Cleveland, they're going to have a little bit of cushion at, top, at the, top of the top of the division, most likely. And if they lose they might not even be in first place. I'm not sure exactly what's going on in the NFC East this week, but if they lose this game, they may lose first place. And obviously, in order for them to make the playoffs, they have to win the division. There's no wild card for this Eagles team. So I kind of rather would have them win. And on top of that, if the Eagles win the division, it is possible they are the first round opponent for the Seahawks. And for some reason, I would just rather play the Eagles in the first round of the playoffs if we have to play an NFC East division winner in the playoffs. I'd rather play them than a team like the Giants or the um, the, the uh, football team, I guess. I, I'm not counting the Cowboys. They're not, they're not going to win this division. But, um, yeah, I think we're actually rooting for the Eagles. And that may seem a little counterintuitive because they're an NFC team, but I think the Eagles winning actually benefits us. All right. Falcons at Saints, this is an easy one. Sounds like we're going to see Taysom Hill at quarterback, which is going to be weird, and I don't think I like it. Don't know why you wouldn't just put Jameis Winston out there. He's an actual QB, but whatever. I'm not going to question it because I think that gives the Falcons a real opportunity to go steal this game. Uh, the Falcons have had good luck in recent years against divisional opponents when they've been bad and the divisional opponent has been good. I remember they were the one team to beat... The Panthers, the year the Panthers went 15-1, and one, so maybe they can do it for us again. <clears throat> sure would be nice, and uh, the opportunity is in front of them, so definitely pulling for the Falcons in this one. All right, we have the Bengals at the football team, and I guess we're probably rooting for the Bengals. I don't think it really matters that much, but I would prefer that the football team not win the division 
simply because that defensive line could be a bit of a matchup nightmare for the Seahawks if they win the division and we end up having to play them in the playoffs. I would rather play, like I said, the Eagles in the first round. So I think we're just going to root for Cincinnati, but probably not going to mean anything. It's so sad, by the way, a 2-7 and seven team, and we're talking about like they could actually win the division. It's, it's not, that's not good. Uh, Lions at Panthers. Panthers are pretty much out of it. They started the season strong and have completely gone off the rails ever since. Three and seven in that division, it's inconceivable that they can make the playoffs. So we may as well root for them against a Lions team that is starting to come on strong a little bit. They are four and five. In that division, it's not going to be easy. Every team in that division is at least semi-competent, except maybe the Bears, and even the Bears still have a winning record. So I think that we would rather have the Lions take an L because the Lions are a team, it, it it's possible we may end up in contention with a wild card spot for them. I think it's pretty unlikely, but, you know, it, it's much more likely than the Panthers getting involved in the wild card race. So, yeah, I think we're rooting for the Panthers here. Steelers at Jaguars, no real rooting interest here at all, not even for strength of schedule stuff because nobody in our division played these teams. Um, I wouldn't hate seeing the shocking upset of the week with the Jaguars winning, but on the other hand, if the Jaguars keep losing and the Jets keep losing, and we'll get to the Jets in a second, it keeps Trevor Lawrence out of the NFC, which is what I want, because Trevor Lawrence is going to be a boss, and I don't want that guy in my conference. Get him to the AFC, please. All right, moving on, morning slate continues. Titans at Ravens, pretty good game, potentially. Um, both teams kind of need to win in order to maintain their status as a potential Super Bowl contender. I kind of feel like both teams are pretty much flagging at this point. The Titans have really just gone to shit lately, mostly because they lost Taylor Luan. Ravens, uh, it, something's missing, something's missing. The way I see it, we don't really have a rooting interest. I guess I'd rather have the Ravens win, but i that's just a personal preference more than anything. I don't think the Seahawks need either of these teams to win or lose. Uh, Patriots at Texans, kind of the same deal here. I, I can't say that we're rooting for any particular result here. I guess we should root for the Patriots because of strength of schedule, because we beat the Patriots. But it is unlikely that that becomes a deciding factor in anything. I know that the Packers beat the Texans. I know that the Vikings beat the Texans. So the more the Texans lose, the better for our strength of schedule versus uh, the Packers' strength of schedule. That may end up coming into play a little bit later. So yeah, we are rooting for the Patriots here. Somewhat unlikely it's going to matter. All right, now we're moving into the afternoon slate. Who are we going to be rooting for this time? I think this one's pretty easy. We're going to root for the Dolphins. We beat the Dolphins. We want the strength of schedule to be strong. We want to be able to point to a win against a good Dolphins team later this year and say, hey, that's a quality win. And it could help a tiebreaker. It's somewhat unlikely. I understand that. But we want the teams we beat to have as good a record as possible unless they're in our division, and especially if they're not even in our conference, because it it just helps um, it just helps tiebreakers at the end of the year. So rooting for the Dolphins, Jets at Chargers, no real rooting interest here. This is as nothing of a game as you can get. However, like I said, if we want Trevor Lawrence to stay out of the conference, which I certainly do, <clears throat> I think we're rooting for the Jets to lose and the Chargers to win. Keep Trevor Lawrence in the AFC, please. All right, moving on to the later afternoon starts. Packers at Colts. This is a slam dunk. Let's pull for the Colts, guys, and they got a chance. They have a chance against this Packers team that suddenly looks human on offense, and you can still run on them on defense. So let's go Colts. They're favored. Let, let's try to get this. This would be a big one. This would be a big one. This is one of the last realistic chances the Packers have to lose this season. And Cowboys at Vikings, um, I guess the Vikings could end up getting in contention for a wild card spot 
And if the Cowboys somehow manage to BS their way to a garbage division title, which I don't see happening, that would be a pretty good matchup for the Seahawks in the first round. So I guess we're rooting for the Cowboys, but eh, pretty, pretty low stakes. All right, now we have the Sunday night game. This is a good game. Chiefs at Raiders. I don't have a rooting interest as a Seahawks fan. I, I like the Chiefs. I like watching Mahomes play football. I like watching Andy Reid offenses. So I will probably personally be rooting for the Chiefs, but everybody's free to make their own call here because I don't see how this affects our season at all. And finally, Monday Night Football. This is the big one, guys. This is the biggest game of the week for us, other than our game. And I will probably be going live on Sunday to stream some of the games, but I will definitely be going live to stream most of this game. Rams at Buccaneers. Rooting for the Bucks. It feels dirty. It might come back to bite us later, but we are rooting for Tampa Bay in this game for sure. We want to have first place in that division. The rest we can figure out later, but definitely rooting for Tampa Bay to get the win at home. They should be able to take care of business. Um, I don't know what's going on with Antonio Brown right now. It sounds like he's already making trouble, so maybe we did dodge a bullet. Only time will tell, but uh, definitely rooting for Tampa Bay here, and that's going to take us to the end of the week. We have a lot of teams in our conference on a bye week, Bears, Giants, and 49ers. So, yeah, that's who we should be rooting for this week. Uh, streams coming later tonight. Going to go through the first Halo with snacks. So if you want to watch that, come out to the stream tonight. We're going to have some fun. After it, I might get to Madden. I'm doing Face of the Franchise. And, yeah, that's the schedule tonight. Peace out. Go Hawks. Onward and upward.